Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the first video of instrumentation and control channel. In this channel, we will be going through a series of short video clips in which I will be discussing the basic concepts and working principles of the instrumentation systems used in process industries. But first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Anas Javed and I have an experience of 9 years as an instrument engineer in oil and gas sector. During this period, I have successfully completed multiple projects and maintenance shutdowns. I routinely carry out maintenance of field instrumentation at different plants of an oil refinery and I also deliver training sessions to experienced and newly inducted oil and gas professionals. In this video, we will be discussing about what instrumentation and control is and its role in monitoring and controlling process variables in process industries. Then we will see a few examples of industrial instruments and in the end I will give you the details of my upcoming videos. Let's start with understanding what process industries are. Process industries are those industries which are continuously processing a recipe or formula of raw materials to convert them into value added products. Such industries use a huge quantity of equipment like compressors, pumps, reactors, furnaces, turbines, etc. to process different effluents into required products. Now let's look into an example of a nuclear power plant and the process through which it produces the electricity from radioactive material. In a nuclear power plant, a nuclear fission reaction in the reactor shown over here generates high amounts of heat energy. This heat energy increases the temperature of the liquid called moderator. The hot liquid then flows through the steam generator to convert liquid water into steam. But to ensure that liquid turns into steam, it is necessary to monitor and ensure that the temperature of water is over its boiling point. The steam generated in the steam generator then flows through the turbine and rotates its blades. But again, to ensure that the turbine rotates at the required speed, it is necessary to monitor and ensure that the pressure of the steam is at required level. The steam then enters into the condenser over here, and a coolant flows through the condenser at required rate to ensure that the temperature of the water is reduced enough to condense the steam back into the liquid state. The level of the condensed water in the condenser must be maintained such that the pump over here can safely pump it back into the steam generator. An electricity generator shown over here is coupled with this turbine which rotates it at high speeds to generate the final product which is electricity. But to ensure that the turbine and generator are operating safely it is necessary to ensure that there is minimum vibration when they are rotating at high speeds. Now, it can be seen that the physical quantities of process effluents as shown over here are the key elements to successfully convert the raw material into value added products. These physical quantities are called the process variables and the art and science of measurement, monitoring and controlling these process variables is called instrumentation. The device which is used to measure, monitor or control the process variables is called an instrument. An instrument may be as simple as direct reading thermometer, a pressure gauge, a temperature gauge, a pressure transmitter or it may be a complex multivariable process analyzer. We will be looking into process analyzers later but for now these are complex instruments used to measure complex process variables such as composition of process fluids, their viscosity, density, pH, flash point, etc. Now that we understand what instrumentation is, we will try to understand what is a feedback control loop in our next video. Coming to the details of our upcoming videos, I will be dividing my videos into sections as shown here. These sections will be comprising of different lessons. Initially, I will be covering the basic concepts and working principles of the most common instruments for each section and then I will be adding videos to each section on different topics on as and when required basis in the long run. This will be all for now. 
I hope that this video was beneficial for you. Do like, share and subscribe to my videos. Till next time, take care and Allah Hafiz.